the oblique capitis superior, which is uh, higher up on the side here, and then you've got the oblique capitis inferior, which is underneath it. We're talking about occipital anatomy in the following video. These eight muscles are really interesting because they create some really important movements that have an effect on the entire head. So you've got the three main movements here, which are essentially rocking till the head back into extension, which is this, you've got the rotation back to the same side, and you've got the flexion to the same side. You've got four muscles on each side, and you've got a pair per side. You've got the oblique capitis superior, which is uh, higher up on the side here, and then you've got the oblique capitis inferior, which is underneath it. Now the second pair that you've got is a bit more central, so you've got the erectus capitis posterior major, I know it's a mouthful, and then you've got the erectus capitis posterior minor, which is the smallest one which literally connects that C1 to the base of the skull. They're actually situated very close to the occipital ridge and the base of the skull.